Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in Tarot Land. This is your girl Zen Gaia, the Zen Libran, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Ding, 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 ding. Pussy power. There we go, y'all. There we go. Long live it, long live it, long live it, long live it. You know what I'm saying? It's all about that. That's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? That's why everybody wants to be a woman. The punani is the tool that the divine has given you to rule divine feminine. Isn't it a beautiful work of art? Isn't it the most magnificent thing on the face of this earth? I mean, wow, you can't describe it. You know, it's just, oh, it's just a, 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 just a, a work of art. You know, the divine is so omnipotent, so omnipotent. You know, know the power that you possess, divine feminine. Know thyself. You're sitting on a portal in which souls come into this realm, okay? Nothing can come into this physical realm unless it has your permission, divine feminine, to come through you, okay? You are the vessel. You are the holy grail. Know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. Well, you know, I'm here today. To give my girls another divine feminine message, you know I'm always here for my ladies. You know I use my gifts for my ladies. I love y'all. You know that. Where my girls at, man? Where my girls at? Who are my girls at? From the front to back, is you feeling that? Yeah, we feeling that. Where my girls at? Where my girls at? In the house, standing tall and proud. That's my girls. That's my girls, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. But before we get our chat started, Divine Feminine, you know what we got to do. Protect, 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 okay? You know what we got out here? Insanity, 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 okay? We're fighting against principalities out here. So we always got to be ready so we don't have to get ready. So, you know, I got my boy here, Elvis, on deck as usual channeling his energy because he had a song famous about return to cinder and we're getting ready to rescind uh, evil eyes back to the cinder okay and i feel that that song is appropriate for this occasion okay so if you know it ladies i'm gonna sing a little snippet help me um rebuke these evil eyes okay come on elvis it's your flow return to cinder Address unknown, no such number, no such phone, no such number, no such phone. Don't nobody stay here. Get you some business. Clean your nose. Wash your feet. You know what I'm saying? Because you tripping. You know what I'm saying? You tripping. You tripping. You tripping. You know what I'm saying? Get you a life. My goodness. This is an environment of consciousness, of elevation, of awareness, of love, of healing, of self-love, of self-healing. Oh, this is a conscious, this is a, this is a level of evolution here. That's what we're doing here. And if you're not about enhancing yourself, please leave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We understand you ain't at that level yet. You know what I'm saying? You can't return, but right now we've got work to do. So, you know what I'm saying? You got a pre-work to do. You know what I'm saying? So, get on out of here. You know, we busy. You know what I'm saying? Get now. You get and just watch. Don't come back in here. You know what I'm saying? Because we have boundaries. And when we tell you to get out of our energy, you must get out of our energy. You will not bogart into our energy. Okay? You have to be allowed in. Okay? So, we're about that life, especially when you're trying to bogart yourself into our life. You know what I'm saying? So I advise you to get on out of here because we like David Banner. You wouldn't like us when we angry. Okay? Get on out of here and I'm going to rebuke your negative energy and then we're going to go forward. Okay? I rebuke your negative energy away from me as I will it, so mote it be. I rebuke your negative energy away from me as I will it, so mote it be. I rebuke your negative energy away from me as I will it, so mote it be. Above all, I will not be your victim. You figure deal me? I know y'all feel me, divine feminine. I know y'all feel me. Where my girls at, man? Where my girls at? From the front to back, cause you're feeling that, yeah. Where my girls at? Where my 
my girl's at. Mm -hmm. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? They in the house. They in the house. They in the house. Mmm. Mmm. I'm looking at my crystal ball. I see somebody's crying on me. Somebody's crying, being nosy. I see you. <laughs> I see you. You don't think I see you? I know exactly who this is. I know exactly who you are. So I hope you get a good look. Did you look while I fought it on the crystal ball? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know exactly who you are. <laughs> so I hope you get a good look. Why are you over there looking at me? Why am I man standing there? Yeah. <laughs> You want to be the man. You want to be the man. You want to be the man, but you're not. You know what I'm saying? You're not. So we getting our chit chat started. I'm seeing this person spy on me. So just let me know. Somebody spying on you, Divine Feminine. This person is obsessed. This person is deranged. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see him real good. I see you. Mm -hmm. He don't think I see him. He don't think that I'm skilled, but I see your platypus face you know what i'm saying i see you bumblebee head ass i see your ass foot face rusty quarter neck i see you i see you ugly boy i see your ugly boy i see your ugly boy and i see your ugly girl i see your ugly boy i see y'all buzzards looking like heckle and jekyll sitting on the fence yeah woody woodpecker looking ass <laughs> looking ass you know what i'm saying obsessed man this dude is obsessed with you just like this dude is obsessed with me him and his woman obsessed with me they spying at me right now so you probably got somebody behind the bush looking at you divine feminine i mean it's just pitiful y'all get a life go eat some captain crunch or something get the hell on you know what i'm saying obsessed girl obsessed with you girl all of you you live rent free. They, you got groupies. They groupies, man. They groupies, man. All in your business. Go on with your life. Damn, your life is that much uninteresting that you got to be all in somebody else's? Oh, my goodness. You're just a loser, and you know it. You know what I'm saying? Goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Inner temple. This bastard is obsessed with you because you done put that, that, that poo nanny on him, and he wants some of that inner temple. That's what he want. It's all about what's in between your legs. I told you. The power of the poo nanny. This is your tool to rule. Now, this, this bastard over his crying, he'll never get none of this. Never. Never. And Divine Feminine, I hope you don't never get this person none of this in a temple. This is what he wants. This is what he wants. This is what he wants. If you let me, I'll take you. He want to come inside. You know what I'm saying now, dog? No, dog, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? It's because you are a star mother. You're from the stars. You know what I'm saying? You're a beautiful, caring, loving, nurturing person, and he wants some of that energy. You could be intuitive, a mystic, a psychic, or something like that, and he wants some of that energy. He's obsessed. This person is obsessed, girl. He lives, he think of you twice day and night this person is deranged this person is crazy and don't nobody want his rusty crusty dry lip ass get the hell on you know what i'm saying let's get this tarot out here a loser y'all he is a loser he is a loser you know what i'm saying up here scrying and spying using divination because you don't want to deal with him you don't block this person from your social media block this person from your phone block this person out of your energy period and he's using divination now he could be going get readings on you you know what i'm saying with your energy probably cloaked anyway with his dumb ass if you a mystic or psychic you know what i'm saying and um he's using a crystal ball i mean man get you some business you know what i'm saying oh my goodness so oh oh so so oh oh so 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 well, so, so, so well. I'm channeling Mariah Carey obsessed because he's obsessed with you. He's obsessed with you with his booger nose ass. He's obsessed with you. I mean, ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want you, dog. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm -mm. 
Let's get this tarot out here. Get this message for this damn fool. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is sad, man. You know, people, this girl don't want you, boy. Go on, on, leave her alone. Damn, go on. Give it up. Baby. You're not going to make her want you. You're not going to make her want you. All she do is hate you now. She hates you now. She don't even want to be your friend. Go on, on somewhere, man. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Why are you so obsessed with me, oh boy, I want to know. Lying that you're sexing me when everybody knows. It's clear that you're upset with me. Yeah, he upset with you, girl. Because you won't get with him. Boy, don't nobody want your lucky Levi looking ass. <laughs> Don't nobody want your mouth standing, she looking ass. <laughs> Boy, don't nobody want you. Go in and on somewhere and go sew a flag or something. Get your ass out of here. Don't nobody want you, man. <laughs> For real, dog. Finally got a girl that you couldn't impress. Less man in the earth and you still, and you can't hit this. You're delusional, you're delusional. Boy, you're losing your mind. It's confusing, y'all. Yo. You're confused, you know. Why you wasting your time? So you can look and spy all you want. It, it ain't going to change nothing. It ain't going to change nothing. All you're doing is making her hate you and glad she never got with you. Don't nobody want to get with nobody like you, you deranged narcissist. You know what I'm saying? That's what you is. Why are you so obsessed with me, oh boy, I want to know. Because you got that what? Lying that you're sexing me when everybody knows. Yeah. You finally found a girl that you couldn't impress. Last man on the earth still couldn't hit this. You're delusional. You're delusional. Boy, you're losing your mind. It's confusing, yo. You're confused, you know. Boy, you're wasting your time. Got you all fired up with your Napoleon complex. Seeing right through me like you, like you, what she said. Seeing right through you like you're bathing in Windex. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she said, I see right through you like you're bathing in Windex. I see right through you. I see you right in this crystal ball. Clear as day. Like you bathing in Windex. You nincompoot. This is a moron. This is a buffoon. This is a, a nincompoot. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You don't want nothing to do with this person. You see clearly what this person is about. You know he's a liar. He's a cheater. He's mentally, um, he plays a lot of mind games. He's deceptive. And you have no feelings for him. Everything has come out in the open about this person. And you don't want nothing to do with him. This is a person that... Um, suppress this feelings for you too this is a person that does not know how to uh communicate uh his emotions effectively you know but is that your fault no he is obsessed with you this is ridiculous what we got out here y'all what we got out here This person thinks that if he get with you, that it would end his suffering, okay? Um, this person is aware that you've healed from all um, the attacks he has put on you, all the mind games and, you know, that he played on you in the past. You've healed from that. You're aware of this person and what he is, and you healed yourself. You know what I'm saying? He's wicked. You're aware that this person is wicked. Yeah. You're aware this person is wicked. Um, this person could have lost a lot of money. You know, um, together you guys were supposed to have the Ten of Pentacles. But for some reason, you guys didn't hook up. And it's because of this masculine. Okay? 
Um, there will be no Ten of Pentacles for this particular person. You know. Um, so he's, this person is cursed financially. He's do, really doing financially bad. And he feels that if he got with you, then it would end his suffering because you're okay. Finance, you know, um, this is somebody that wants to reconnect with you. He feels that if he reconnects with you, he would um, be okay. You know what I'm saying? This person feels that you are a blessing to him and that you were given to him by the divine. You know, um, this person feels that you would give him money also. You know, um, he feels you're the total package. You come with the money and everything. You know, and he feels that if he hooked up with you, reconnected with you, that he this is a blessing that he's give, been given, and he wants to move forward. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Yeah. Also, uh, somebody could have a platform on social media um, that this person was attacking. Okay, and. Um, you're going to be moving forward. You know, a lot of people are going to be donating to this platform, you know, so don't worry about it. Um, this person is just wicked. You know, this person is just wicked. Wicked, 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 wicked. And everything is out and open about this particular person. Everybody is aware. You're surely aware this person has been exposed. You know, this person is cursed financially. And if he feels that if he hooked with, up with you and slept with you and tapped into your sacral energy, that he could manifest. Mm -hmm. He wants that inner temple, girl. He wants that inner temple. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Finally found a girl that you couldn't impress. Last man on the earth still can't hit this. You're delusional. You're delusional, boy, you're losing your mind. It's confusing, yo, you're confusing, yo, boy, you're wasting your time. You get none of this. You get none of this. None of this. Got you all fired up with your Napoleon complex, seeing right through you like you're bathing in Windex. Oh, oh, oh. Boy, why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> you, you obsessed, you gone. So you shouldn't have gave none of that putting at me because you can't do that with everybody, Divine Feminine. Mean, we can't do that because it's so phenomenal that they gonna keep coming back. They ain't gonna never leave you alone. This particular person, you ain't dealt with this person in years. I want to say 20, 15 years, and he's still. That's what I'm saying. The power of the poo nanny. The power of your poo nanny. You know what I'm saying? And he just can't give it up. He just can't let it go. Dude, you done took it away from him a long time ago. <laughs> what is you talking about, dude? Ain't nobody with you. Y'all was just homie level friends. I mean, y'all didn't have no relationship or nothing. So what the hell is he tripping off of? Why are you so obsessed with me? I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Girl, he wants you to give him your heart so bad. You're not finna give my heart? You're delusional, you're delusional. Boy, you're losing your mind. Don't nobody want you? <laughs> Don't nobody want you. You know what I'm saying? Um... This particular uh, masculine that went over there and got into a marriage uh, with this entitled person. Um, probably the whole family is entitled. Uh, people got money and they think they all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, he did it for the right reasons, though. Uh, he got this girl pregnant and they had a little girl. Uh -huh. So he went over there and did the right thing, tried to make a go of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's commendable. That's commendable. Why you didn't tell Divine Feminine the truth instead of lying about it? You know what I'm saying? Instead of lying about it. I had a guy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is was uh, this relationship I had was the shortest relationship. But it was the most that I learned from. You know? And it was the one that actually broke my heart. Okay? And uh, I think it, um, it, it really broke my heart. Um, this particular person always wanted to be with me. Um, I was friends with his cousin. No, no, no. My cousin had children by his cousin. 
uh, my cousin, which is a male, he lived with uh, his cousin, which is a female, and they had children. So I knew him, you know what I'm saying, because our families were combined because I had little cousins and stuff, you know what I'm saying, by his cousin, you know. So uh, they used to be around, and I come through, you know, I breeze through, you know, come through. What up, doe? You know what I'm saying? Everybody like, what's up? What's up? I speak, and then I'm on the road. I'm on the road. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, this was when I was what, like, twenty something in my twenties and stuff. So I was on the road, then. You know what I'm saying? And he used to be checking me out, looking at me. You know, I was boo. You know what I'm saying? But I never, I'm like, yeah, he did, you know, you know what I'm saying? But I would never give him no type of play or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, but years later, I mean years later, uh, I was single because I'm in long relationships, okay? I was with my child's father for 12 years. Um, I'm with the guy that I ain't with now for 11 years, you know what I'm saying? And uh uh, before then, I was with the guy for nine years. You know what I'm saying? So I was never single. Um, I was single at this particular time. When me and my uh, child's father uh, broke up, I was single at this particular time. And, you know, I was looking for a little some some, a little friend-friend. You know what I'm saying? Nothing serious. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that you just transition with. And he was there for this picking. You know what I'm saying? I was like, hmm. <laughs> Hmm, let me see, let me see, let, let me see what I can do. Something that's safe, you know. And I was like, hmm, and looked at him, and I was like, okay. You know what I'm saying? So we hooked up. Girl, let me tell you. He had been wanting to hook up with me for years, so it was really, really good. It was really, really nice. And he was like really, really happy that he had we was hooking up, we was kicking it, you know what I'm saying, and um, previously he was with the girl, um, and um, the girl came up pregnant, okay, and she wanted to have, um, to get rid of the, terminate the pregnancy, okay, and he didn't want to terminate the pregnancy, you know, so they got into a big argument or whatever, and she said she was doing it anyway, and he was like, "How you, you, you a murderer and all that stuff," and then they end up breaking up. Okay, he's like, "I'm not giving you no money for nothing." She's like, "My family got money, you know what I'm saying? I don't want this, you know what I'm saying?" But they end up breaking up. Nine months later, okay, now me and him, we was been kicking it for like a month now. I mean, it was really, really good. You know, I really dug him. You know what I'm saying? And um, nine months later, she calls, you want to see your baby? And he's like, who what? She's like, you want to see your baby? He's like, what baby? I thought you was going to, you know what I'm saying? She's like, no, nah, I didn't do it. And he was like, it's a little boy. You know, and he's like, ah. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Because he didn't want her to terminate the pregnancy in the first place. You know what I'm saying? And so he was like, ah, ah. and she was like, well, we need to try to make a go at this. You know what I'm saying? We're a family now. Woo -woo 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 you know how it is. And um, he was like, ah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So he had me over here, somebody he had wanted to be with for years. And then he had her. And he was like, and I was looking at him like, what's wrong with him? You know what I'm saying? He was like pacing a lot and smoking a lot. And, and I was like, what's wrong with you? And he was like, ah. <laughs> And he finally told me that him, about his previous relationship, uh, they broke up. He told me that they broke up, but he's telling me why they broke up. And he was like, she got the baby now, whatever, 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 you know. He finally went to see the baby and fell in love with the baby, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Uh, long story short, it ended up that that is where he wanted to be. But he was with me. He was going back and forth between us. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? She wanted him to move in with her, but he wouldn't because he was still dealing with me. You know? And I, you know, I was like, 
you know, I'm an open person. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me. You know what I'm saying? And um, we talked. And uh, basically, he ended up being with her. I really commended him for being honest with me. You know what I'm saying? He got this little boy, this new little boy, and he wanted to be in his son's life. You know what I'm saying? And and the and the way she was rocking it, he had to be with her in order for, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, me and him was just kicking it. You know what I'm saying? For us, me on my end, you know what I'm saying? I, I just got fresh out of a relationship. I, You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I wanted no strings attached. You know what I'm saying? But I started to get attached. You know what I'm saying? And um, he went to be with her. And he was, like, messed up. The relationship was just terrible because he still had feelings over here with me. And I saw that tearing him up. So, you know, I stepped away. I stepped away. You know what I'm saying? I, I say I made it easier for him to go in that direction. You know what I'm saying? I stopped answering phone calls. I stopped coming around. As You know what I'm saying? Because I know that his heart totally wasn't with me. But I commended him because he told me the truth. And we still friends right today. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a hell of a man to want to be, you know, I understood why. You know what I'm saying? I understood why. You know, and I commended him for that. You know what I'm saying? It broke my heart. You know what I'm saying? But I commended him for that. I knew why. That's why people just need to be honest, man. What you lying for? You know what I'm saying? You don't know how the outcome going to be. You know what I'm saying? You can't write the script of what I'm going to say. You don't know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? Just be honest. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, and, and that's something that these men have a problem with. You know what I'm saying? But that's uh, me uh, babbling, telling y'all my story. But this particular person, he went and, and got into this marriage because this girl got pregnant. And he did it for the right reasons because he wanted to be there with his baby. And I commend it. I really do. You know what I'm saying? But if you're sneaking behind somebody's back and not telling them something and they find out, that's your ass. And then for me, the person that's fine on me in a crystal ball, I'm psychic. I'm intuitive. I'm clairvoyant. I know everything just by sitting on my couch. I don't have to be around you to know what's going on in your life. So I knew about this little girl. You know what I'm saying? So you just lied by omission. You know what I'm saying? And that's not cool. And I can't stand this particular person. But me and my ex, we cool as hell right today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get some more energy out here. You know what I'm saying? Tell the truth, man. Tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? The truth is the truth. And that's going to always be the best outcome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this person want to come to you now. You know what I'm saying? Because he's not in this marriage anymore. You know, and he wants you to give, he want to give you his heart and he wants you to give him yours. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's coming with his heart in his hand. You know what I'm saying? Um, he wants to end his suffering. You know what I'm saying? So he's coming out in the open to you. <laughs> yeah. He's coming out in the open because you're the bachelorette, baby. You the best of it. Mm-hmm. And everybody want to be on your team. Do you hear what I'm saying? So you're not the only one. But you know why he's obsessed. Because you just that bitch. You know what I'm saying? You just that bitch. You know? You know? But uh, this masculine was a liar. You know what I'm saying? He didn't tell you the truth. He didn't tell you anything. And I, that's a lie. By not even telling me when I already know. I already know, dude. You know what I'm saying? So you wasting your time trying to come my way because I you a liar. And your in your lies is not gonna work here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And you know, and that's what's happening with this he's a liar. You know what I'm saying? This is an intuitive woman here. You know what I'm saying? With your lying ass. That's why she sent your ass home. Go home, boy. Ain't nobody got time for no lying ass, old grown ass man. You know what I'm saying? That steady line with your grown old ass. You got salt and pepper in your hair and on your face and on your, uh, in between your legs, but you still lying. Come on, man. You need to get you some business. What you lying for? You grown as hell. Who gonna whoop you? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? And then you lying to me? 
I'm the wrong person to lie to because I already know, dog. <laughs> yeah, honey, I be you know be laughing. I used to be laughing at these dudes because I've always had these gifts. And I just let them think that they getting over. And I be like, and then I just ghost their ass. They be like, what's wrong with her? Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Just because I didn't say nothing, I act like I don't know, don't mean I don't know. That's a high priestess. We know everything. And don't say nothing. Okay? <laughs> you aware of this person, you know? <laughs> Yeah, he wanna he wanna reconnect with you. Mm-hmm. Look at him. <laughs> wanna give you a ring. Wanna put a fat diamond in it too. I ain't mad at you. It gotta be fat, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it gotta be fat. They rock on your fingers like a tumor. You can't fit your hand in your new purse. That's right. That's what you better come up with. Yeah. He want to give you a ring, and he wants to continue this cycle with you. He wants to continue this cycle with you. Ain't nobody got time for that, dog. You's a liar. You know what I'm saying? You could have told her about that, baby. You know what I'm saying? But you decided not to, thinking you getting over with your lying ass. And you just, ugh, I just can't stand this energy. Ugh, you know what I'm saying? I can't stand it, y'all. You know? But um, you've healed from this person, and you're getting your blessings, Divine Feminine. Don't worry about this particular person. You know, um, <laughs> this person is optimistic about y'all love life. You know what I'm saying? He really thinks that y'all going to hook up and that y'all going to be all right. No, dog. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this, this person is crazy in love with you. He want to, I want to make you know I looking ass. You know what I'm saying? You's a lying ass. You're not ready. Ain't nobody got time for this. You know what I'm saying? This this girl is psychic. You can't lie to her. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So go on. on. You know what I'm saying? You, you lying ass. You are, he obsessed with you, girl. He want to get in between. He want to get in that nappy dugout. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You're moving forward from this wicked ass person. You know what I'm saying? This person, uh, he done left that family. He done left this girl and the, the family, the children. I know about the one little girl, but he probably didn't end up having another child with her. And he done left and he's moving forward. You know what I'm saying? The marriage is over. You know? That's why he's sniffing around you. You know? He done left her, girl. He done left her. He done left her. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, and now he wants to come over there to you and give you a good first impression of him. But, dude, you know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah, he trying to, uh, he want to test the waters and see how you feeling and how your temper is with him and stuff. You know what I'm saying? He going to try to slide in there like he just want to be friends. But that's not his agenda. He ain't trying to be your friend. <laughs> he ain't trying to be your friend, girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He trying to be the front runner in your life. That's what he trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's get uh, some messages out the north because you're definitely in the north node. Okay? And he wants some of that inner temple. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. Got you all fired up with your Napoleon complex. Yeah. See him right through you like you're bathing in Windex. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, boy, why are you so obsessed with me? Oh, boy, I wanna know. Lying that you're sexing me when everybody knows. They know you lying. They know you lying. You know what I'm saying? You's a dummy. You's a dumbass. And that's what they tell him, man. You dumb. Ain't no way I would have gave that up. Ain't no way. And he feeling so stupid. You know what I'm saying? Look, you got abundance and everything. Four, four, four abundance, stability, money. You know what I'm saying? And everybody's like, dude, you is a dummy. You had that in your palm of your hand and you gave that up. Come on, man. Come on, man. You was a dummy. His partner's talking about him. You know what I'm saying? And you like, please, somebody set this person up with someone. Please move on. Because you don't want nothing to do with him. He's obsessed with you, girl. And you ain't never seen him act like this. You know what I'm saying? You just want him to leave you alone. 
But he got to have some of that in a temple. You know what I'm saying? Girl, please. Boy, go. You get none of this him. You know what I'm saying? Divine Feminine is on a divine mission. She has a purpose. Okay? She has a purpose. And she ain't finna be dealing with this dummy. She got money to spend. You know, things to do. Stability to build. You know what I'm saying? I mean, go on, man. This person is toxic. And you ain't got time for this, man. I mean, go on, man. Go to somebody more um, in your league. You know what I'm saying? I mean, goodness gracious. You know what I'm saying? You don't want this person. You tell them, I don't want you, and I deal with that. Leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? This person, he, he, he's a hot mess, girl. He a hot mess. Stay away from this person. You know what I'm saying? This person is a woman beater. So keep your distance from this particular person. Keep your distance from this particular person. This person is uh, doing voodoo on you. I swear, man, he's obsessed. He the love spells, trying to get you to love him. I'm going to make you love me. Looking ass. You know what I'm saying? This person is delusional. You're delusional. <laughs> You're losing your mind. You're confusing, yo. You're wasting your time. You know what I'm saying? Um, this weirdo has your phone tapped. I mean, just too much, man. I mean, oof, girl, just too much. All because he wants some affection. He wants some of that inner temple. He ain't trying to get with you. He just trying to get some of that. So he can make his life better. Because this person is cursed financially. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to end his suffering by sleeping with you. Okay. I mean, just ridiculous, y'all. Just ridiculous. This person could have uh, be making money. Uh, have a page on OnlyFans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He is like that for this person. He doing bad. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he will probably would try to bully you. You know, he's a woman beater. Probably try to bully you. But, uh, hey, man, I got something for that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we fights over here. You know what I'm saying? So chill out, dude. Okay? All right. Well, this is the message that I have for my divine feminine. If you feel anybody could benefit from this message, please, please, please share the consciousness, share the awareness, because beware of this person. Um, always keep you a weapon. Tell your family and friends about this particular person, the police, anybody, because this person ain't right, okay? And this seems like this type of person that will go clear across your boundaries, okay? This is a dummy. This is a fool. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he's a follower, and he's upset that his friends are joining him and talking about him because he lost you. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he got something to prove, okay? This is a weak, punk-ass, following-ass, no leadership skills having ass dude. You know what I'm saying? Just ridiculous. You know, a loser, okay? All right. I love y'all. And share the awareness if you feel need be, okay? I'll see y'all on the next Divine Feminine Message. Protect yourself. Okay, ladies? I love y'all. See y'all later. Bye-bye.